These events have been absolutely dreadful and I speak for my colleagues when I say we are furious. We depend on the trust of the public, we police by consent and I know that public trust has been damaged. People are rightly gravely concerned about what they've seen and as a consequence uh, today I'm announcing that we will have an independent person come in and review uh, the Met in terms of its standards uh, and in terms of its culture. How we treat each other uh, and how we treat the public. Our leadership, our processes, our systems, uh, our people, our training, everything will be looked at. Uh, this will be a fully transparent report. Uh, it, it will respond to me, uh, but uh, will of course make recommendations for changes, I am sure, and those will be public. So uh, it'll take a minimum of six months. I suspect it may take uh, actually a little longer. Obviously I need to negotiate that with the reviewer, but I want it to be as quick as it possibly can be. Uh, no, it, it won't have any effect on those, but it will take, um, I'm sure, a great interest in the uh, results of those. So the IOPC, as you know, have a number of investigations currently, uh, which um, I'm looking forward anxiously in terms of timing. I want this as quickly as possible to tell me what they have found. Uh, we have Her Majesty's Inspectorate that I have asked to come in and look at our vetting processes. Uh, and again, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the results of that and being able to act on those. Uh, and the reviewer, I am sure, will be interested uh, in both of those. But, but we will not be standing by and waiting for the review. We already have a whole series of actions in place uh, in relation to violence against women and girls and improving our professional standards. And in terms of those who were sort of calling for your resignation in light of um, you know, the sentencing of Wayne Cousins, what's your response to that? My, my response is they are, of course, entitled to their opinion. I'm a public servant. Uh, I'm getting on with my job. I'm leading the Met through a tough time. I am determined to rebuild public confidence. Uh, I am determined to put in place the changes that are necessary to do that. And I'm getting on with the job. So I think this was um, rather taken out of context. I think we all realise that uh, a lone woman being approached by a, a man uh, in plain clothes uh, or purporting to be a police officer might be concerned. And my officers, my male officers, understand that absolutely. So it will be rare for a woman to, 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 to meet a single plain clothes officer. I can't rule it out, but it will be a rare occurrence. And um, the officer will, will be sensitive to the fact that the person may be concerned. So they will identify themselves. Uh, they will be happy to ask question, answer questions. Uh, if the woman is you know, ultimately still very concerned, uh, then she could ask for the officer to get the control room. He, the person will almost certainly have a radio to uh, identify the officer for her uh, and, and in extremis, of course, um, she may wish to seek uh, you know, other help. But I do want to stress the vast majority of my police officers are good people. They're doing their very best in sometimes difficult circumstances. They are sensitive uh, and they will be hugely alert to the fact that at the moment uh, it's possible that the interaction between uh, a plainclothes male officer and a woman uh, you know, could be challenging and they will want to assist the woman to feel safe and comfortable in that encounter. to look at our standards, uh, to look at our culture, to look at our training, 